I am a professional chef. I run my own catering company, but I'm actually worked in years as a pastry chef. And those sweets added up. So I got connected with John through uh, the need to lose some weight and get shape. And through my work with John and trying to make his existing nutrition program work for me, I adapted and changed the recipes to make them taste like something. <laughs> <laughs> to make them real and usable for myself, which turned out made them real and usable for other people as well. Right, and so what we've done is over the last six months, tell us, tell us what we've done over the last six months. Tell me what I've done. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> well, we started with some of the recipes that I had originally used myself when I was losing weight, and that was the beginning of the Fitness Nomad Cookbook which goes to all of our clients and is also loaded on to the membership blog. That those get added on to every month with new recipes, combination of breakfast, lunch, dinners, and snacks, all calibrated to five different calorie counts and with the proper ratio of protein to carb. Low salt, low fat, those are all the things that we tried to cover with these recipes. And just so people know, what the proper ratio of carb to protein? To carb to one part protein. Right. And the carbs should be from fruits and vegetables as well as the complex carbohydrates like grains, brown rice, quinoa, things like that. It's very confusing. There's a million cookbooks out there, but most of the recipes are complex or you know, you're a single person or you're only cooking for two and they've got recipes for four. These recipes are all adjusted for single portions as well as portions for four if you're cooking for family. The reality for most people is that they're cooking for themselves because their families don't want to get involved, at least not at first. Though some of my clients, their spouses are getting involved with the, the cooking as well. But for most people, that's very difficult. You're looking at these cookbooks and you know a lot of them are heavy on carbs, even if they're healthy. So what do you do? You, it's difficult for people to know where to go. You, this, this adjusts them for you. You're starting out with a good basis right here. Simple, fast, healthy, good and you know, high in fiber. They're really and most of my clients tell me they taste really good. <laughs> I think they taste good, but I'm biased. <laughs> what is it about your recipes and the recipes that we've created that makes them so unique? Most of the recipes on the sites that I have looked at myself, you know, I've looked at sites led by dietitians that claim they're healthy, and they're giving you 800 calories for dinner, which is not reasonable if you're only eating 1,500 calories a day. They're also higher in fat. They're not really cutting the fat out. They say, oh, this is low fat. It'll have a tablespoon of olive oil. That's a lot of calories that you don't really need. You don't need to cook with that fat at all. Most of the fats in my diet, for instance, come from nuts or peanut butter, or you know, I will eat um, reduced fat cheese. That's where my fat is coming from. I'm not adding any oil to my foods at all. And that's the case for most of these recipes as well in, in these 